What's happening, Wargamers? Welcome to another Tuesday video. Been a little bit since we've done one of these, but we have something cool to show off today, and that is one of the um, one of the new kind of interesting releases from Atomic Mass Games for Marvel Crisis Protocol, and that is the Rival Panels Diorama of Spider-Man and Dr. Octopus. Uh, so this one's kind of neat. It, uh, From my understanding, it doesn't really offer anything new as far as gameplay goes. It's not updated cards or anything like that. Uh, what it is, it's basically just uh, alternative sculpts for both uh, Spider-Man and Dr. Octopus as well as a, a diorama scene. So really, really rather kind of a, a, a cool idea here. Uh, in addition to that, there's a little bit of extra content that it comes with. Obviously, there's the terrain feature, there's some bases. Uh, it does, from my understand have uh, I believe it's foil stat cards as well as some alternate team tactics cards so you know the drill we're gonna get this uh, we're gonna get take all this out we're gonna take a look at it uh, we're not gonna do a fully painted uh, sh uh, showcase of this one just because of uh, time constraints and everything but I wanted to, to at least kind of show this off and, and kind of show why it's a it's a different and interesting product here uh, now, first thing else, we have the instructions here. Now, this is kind of nice because we've started seeing a bit of a change with some of the newer uh, instruction manuals where, you know, it's just a QR code. Uh, you'll be seeing that in a couple more videos coming up soon. So this actually having printed off instructions is really kind of nice. Right off the bat, it looks pretty simple to assemble Spider-Man. Very few pieces. I do like that there's nothing that really needs to glue the, uh, the webs together, at least from the looks of it. So that is kind of a nice touch there. Uh, the other side, the diorama piece actually looks really straightforward and simple to put together as well because it looks like it's the one platform and a little bit of a back. That is actually surprisingly simple. Uh, I'm, I'm really, yeah, I'm legitimately surprised by that. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, Doc Ock looks fairly straightforward as well. A couple more parts than, um, than what Spidey has, but I like that it's a much more dynamic looking uh, sculpt so far. So let's, let's take a look at what the content in this is. Um, I'm just cracking open the card packs here, and I can already tell these, these are nice looking so far. So they are foiled cards. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but yeah, that's that's shiny. That's nice. Um, it's just kind of a shame it's on core Spider-Man, because uh, that is a really, really nice card. Uh, I like it a lot. It's uh, The foiling is not overwhelming or anything like that, and it's yeah, it's just got a really nice look. Uh, same with Dr. Octopus, and I mean, these characters have been out since the core launch, so there's not really anything weird or fancy going on with them. We, we kind of know what to expect with, uh, course, uh, core Peter and, uh, and Dr. Octopus. Um, so let's just put those off to the side here. Uh, I do like the foil look of it though. Uh, and then it looks like, yeah, so it looks like we got some additional cards here. And I think these might be, uh, different artwork ones for all webbed up, well laid plans of blind obsession. I believe, yeah, I believe it's different art for it. I, I dig them. I dig them. It's it's kind of a cool little touch. I mean, it's I don't I wouldn't say they're they're what you go out and you buy this pack for, but it is it is definitely a neat little neat little touch if this is something that you're planning on getting. So let's take a quick look at everything. Let's start with the terrain here. So we have three sprues of the terrain. It actually looks all fairly well cut. I like that the, the, the main platform is just one large platform. I like that it has the bases to slot in there. Uh, looks like, you know, the extra little webbing is a nice touch, the girders. Uh, very nice. I, it actually all looks very straightforward uh, to assemble. Some barrels there. Uh, yeah, I, I like it. I think that's kind of cool. I don't know if this would really translate well into a piece of in-game terrain. Once it's assembled, we'll take a look at that and see if that's the case. But just in general, I mean, it, it looks fairly simple to put together. It looks well designed. So that's kind of cool. So we got the, the Doc Ock pieces here. I like the uh, the nice big base right there. Uh, I like that it's a little bit different than the, the typical uh, street bases, which is kind of cool. I love that the tentacles are a little bit more dynamic. Just going to have to be careful cutting them out there. And uh, yeah, so the, the torso is still two pieces, but I do like that the arms, the legs are all one piece a piece, a piece there. Uh, could do without some of these little small pieces to assemble the the end of the uh, the tentacles. Those are always a bit of a pain, um, but you know it it kind of is what it is. 
Spidey, on the other hand, Spidey looks fantastic. I, I really dig this. Part of me almost kind of wants to magnetize this to the base so he can go on to a larger base as well. And I can, you know, use him as a stand-in for my Amazing Spider-Man as well. Because, quite frankly, I, I really dig this pose for Spider-Man. I like the, the fluid motion of it all and everything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these assembled and we're going to take a quick peek at them and just see what the whole kit is like and if it's something that you want to add to your collection. So we've got the whole model diorama assembled at this point. Very mostly easy to assemble. The The directions that they gave had some... Some compl well, I don't even want to say complications. Some of the directions were a little awkward when it came to uh, assembling these back pillars here. But generally speaking, it took me maybe about... 40 minutes, 30 minutes to 40 minutes to get the whole thing assembled. So very easy to assemble. Uh, one of the really nice touches is uh, both Spider-Man and Doc Ock have their nice little uh, slots in there. And they they can be fitted in or you can take them out and you can use them. Uh, let's just take a quick look at the models themselves. <clears throat> let's uh, let's start with the terrain just because, you know, it's, it's the big diorama piece here. So... It, it's overall, it's a nice looking piece. Uh, these Some of these pieces fit in uh, with tabs, which is really nice. So you don't have to glue them in uh, before you paint them. That's going to make things a lot easier. Other pieces like this one right here was a, was a glue-in piece, but not too difficult. The assembly up here, as you can see, like the, the, some parts haven't been glued yet. And again, I'm doing that for ease of, ease of uh, painting uh, in the long run. If I had any gripe about it, though, it's that... On the back of it, it's open like this. And I think that's really unfortunate. I think there there was a missed opportunity to kind of have this uh, be usable as a terrain piece in the game as well. Which, I mean, you still can if this doesn't really bother you. It, it was just a little unfortunate. I was hoping for something solid on the back here that uh, it would, might look a little bit better on the table instead of being nice and open. But the upside is, is that a lot of the pieces that go into the back here uh, slot into, as you can see, like there's a little... A little hole right there that this uh, the crane piece uh, slots into, which is really nice. Like there's the push fit components to it, so that's really good. Like half the components didn't have to be glued. The ones that did, they were actually really good about. It. You can see like the little grooves in here that I was able to to socket them or fit them into, which was really nice. It made assembly of this piece very easy uh, once you sort of like wrapped your head around the uh, the build instructions, which were a little tiny. Uh, but generally speaking, it, was, it wasn't too bad uh, to take care of all that. So let's take a look at the models themselves. First off, let's take a look at Spidey. And this one is actually a really good model. I, I really dig this one. I kind of wish that this was the core box Spidey. The pose is really solid. It's, um, you know, it's very dynamic. They, they still have that annoying explosion in the bottom of it, which... Yeah, I, th I think that's just going to be AMG's thing is those weird explosion things or tactical rocks. Uh, but it's really nice to have like the, the dynamic motion of the, you got sort of like mid web swing type thing going on here. And just in general, it looks really nice. It doesn't feel as brittle as some of the other ones. Like I can't really flick this as much as uh, the webbing on the other Spider-Man, which again is really nice. Uh, just the whole model. I really like it. Like this guy, this guy is pretty much going to be replacing my core box Spidey. I think as far as who I'm using, uh, whenever I use that Spider-Man, I was really tempted to, to magnetize the, uh, the base as well. So just so I could throw it on the larger base for, um, for amazing Spider-Man might still do it. I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, but in general, very solid model. I am quite happy with that one. Doc Ock, uh, again, you know, really good looking model on this one. This is a much more a much more dynamic Dr. Octopus than we got in the core box. Uh, the one in the core box was just kind of bland, just kind of standing there, the tank closed down and all that sort of stuff. This one has this really nice dynamic forward motion. You can see here he's got the one tentacle about to uh, chuck the uh, the steel beam. He's got his other tentacle firing off a laser here. You've seen him uh, suspended up in the air. Really nice. It just adds a whole lot to the pose. I remember when the game first came out, a lot of people were doing... Um, modifications of the Doc Ock model to kind of get a similar look to this. Uh, I do kind of like the fact that he's still a little pudgy uh, and he doesn't kind of fit that muscular superhero build, especially the one that we saw in like the cartoons back in the 90s. Uh, overall, I, I really dig it. Um, this Doc Ock is definitely replacing the, the core box one. And I think that's a really cool piece uh, bit about this diorama set is that uh, these, these models replace what were kind of considered two of the most underwhelming models uh, in the core box. And they just kind of gave some new life to it. So that is the uh, Spider-Man Dr. Octopus uh, diorama piece. 
and it's it's really a rather cool cool set you know so here's the box right here it's it's you know hitting store shelves or has hit store shelves for you at this point um if this is something that's up your alley definitely check it out i i think it's a cool cool piece for anyone interested in the game or they just maybe want an interesting uh, set piece to paint up or just some alternative models uh definitely very cool definitely highly recommended i i dig it a lot i'm looking forward to, to painting it up so thank you so much for watching this uh everyone watching leave your comments below what you like what you didn't like all that sort of stuff if you want to hit that subscribe button that would mean a whole deal to me um it's how i keep doing this sort of stuff so any little support is definitely helpful on that one and of course stay tuned for the typical friday battle reports and uh, as always happy wargaming